The big car here with the top up is the car in which I took most of the long trips, four transcontinental trips between 1972 and 1989. Um, it was modified. It's a 1912 30 horsepower seven passenger touring car called a Model 87. It was modified more than any car we have really except in appearance uh, for long distance touring. Well some of the changes we made were good, other changes were not so good because we added a lot of weight. We made a steel frame for the car instead of the original wood frame. Made it stronger, made it probably safer in case of an accident, but it made it a lot heavier and therefore the car was not quite as responsive never would run quite as fast, just a much heavier automobile. But the car went uh, on that first trip from, uh, from York Glen to Montreal to uh, San Diego and Tijuana, Mexico, and then all the way back to York Glen, 8,300 miles. The second trip was from Key West, Florida to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh, we shipped the car to Miami but then drove it home from Halifax at the end of the tour. Uh, the third trip was uh, the car was shipped to Pebble Beach, California, driven from Pebble, Pebble Beach <clears throat> to Jekyll Island, Georgia, and then back to York Lynn. And the final trip in 1989, and Ruth went with me on that one, we shipped the car to Galveston, Texas, drove it from Galveston to Bar Harbor, Maine, and drove home from Bar Harbor. And uh, so uh, we made four of those long trips, many shorter trips like to New England and uh, New York State and places closer by. It's still one of the favorite cars uh, in the collection and, uh, uh, and I guess I would say for a long time was my favorite car in the collection. I don't know that it is now because I'm too old. It's heavy and it's a little harder to handle than some of the lighter ones. 